Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Mr. Baker. Alan, explain a little more detail about the, the needs of digital, where we are in that process, and kind of an ongoing multi-session deal we've been trying to do with, but uh, where are you in the process? Uh, we are legal, so February 18th we will uh, be totally digital, which we are now. I mean, we still have the analog. But uh, what I'd like you to, Senator, is that just like your computer at home needs to be upgraded digital, you just don't do it one time and it's over. Uh, we now are in a situation, like as everybody else in the country, and every commercial station in the country, is once February 18th happens, the digital transition to next year, we will have to ensure that we have the same coverage patterns that analog provided. And nobody knows that until you cut off your analog and people are only watching on digital. So we have several what's called maximization projects where we have to upgrade the transmitter and do a variety of things like that. Plus, we, in order to, if you will remember, Senator, two years ago, the FCC, after 10 years of trying, was able to allow us to put a digital transmitter in South and South. We, had, we did that by taking money away from production digital equipment. So we, we can produce the standard definition digital, not to be too complicated, but not high definition digital. So it's a continual process. It's not something in, in every station in the country, public or otherwise, is having to continually upgrade equipment. If not, uh, uh, then you'll be behind the, behind the eight ball. So that's, that's the process. Our problem is that in order to provide this maintenance and, and such, we just need to have that infrastructure funded. Does that answer your question? Sorry. Yeah, but even more specifically, I mean, you need funding for that infrastructure, right? Yeah. To make it work. Right. 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 I mean, you just kind of rob it here and pay all the right. budget. We, we have no choice. The FCC is mandated. And the FCC changes all the time. We got a ruling yesterday for all of us on closed captioning. It used to be the closed captioning, you only had to caption your new programming. Then you had to caption 50% of your old programming. Then you had to do 75%. Now we have to do everything we've ever done. It has to be captioned and, and go back. And that's a very difficult process. But that's all part of the digital, uh, digital process. Thank you. 